Microsoft has just released a new tool called NL Web, and it seems to bring conversational interfaces directly to your web. It's an open project designed to simplify creation of natural language interfaces for websites. And the thing that caught me is that we can turn any website into an AI powered app. And as I will show later in the video, we will be directly able to chat with the website as we chat with any LLM. And NL Web stands for Natural Language Web. They want it to be the fastest and easiest way to effectively turn website into an AI app. And the beauty is that any instance of NL Web is also a MCP server. So your website is going to turn into an MCP server by just wrapping it around with NL Web. And all that we need for it to work is that we need semi-structured formats like schema.org, RSS, or any other data that websites already publish. So how do we take our website and wrap it around NL Web and convert it into an MCP server? They have given the getting started procedure. And if we go to their repository, they have given the getting started guide, hello world on your laptop. So if we open that link, we can see that they have given the prerequisite and what the commands that we need to run on the terminal in order to get started with NL web. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And when I tried it yesterday, I got it running in five minutes. So it really shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to walk you through step by step. So this is our AI byte site. I'm going to wrap NL web around the site and I'm going to chat with the site. So let's get started. So as a first step, we need to have a RSS feed for our website. If we don't have that, we can go to this rss.app site and we can log in. And once we log in, if we go to the top right to our login, this is our workspace. And we can see that I've already created a workspace for AI bytes. I'm going to actually show you how we can go about creating it. So if I click on add feed, we have to enter the URL of our website. In this case, it's AIbytes.net. So I'm just going to copy that, stick it in here, and I'm going to say generate. So it's generating the RSS feed for us. It's generating the link for RSS feed, and the feed URL is right at the top. We can copy this URL, and then we are going to be using this URL when we actually do the NL web. So let's proceed to setting up NL web locally. I'm going to start by cloning the repository. It's good clone NL web. So we have it CD NL web, and then we need to create a virtual environment. And I'm going to say VN NL web. So that is creating a virtual environment. Obviously, we need to activate the virtual environment. I'm going to say NL web bin activate we have the virtual environment active and we just have to install the requirements now so i'm going to cd into code and i'm going to do pip install minus r requirements so that went through successfully i'm going to clear the screen and the next step is to copy the dot env template into dot env so i'm just going to do that cp.env to .env. Let's see what's there in that. So we have quite a few things here. For example, we need to set anthropic API key or inception API key. And for now, I'm not going to do anything with it. Let's clear the screen. So the next step is to update the config files. So these are the config files that we need to update. One is the config llm.yaml and config embedding.yaml and config retrieval.yaml. So I'm going to edit these three files. So let's start with config llm.yaml. So I'm going to start editing the uh, I'm going to start editing the uh, config which is config llm.yaml and here we can see that the preferred endpoint is Azure OpenAI and this OpenAI option there, this inception option there anthropic gemini and quite a few things to start with for me at least i'm going to change the azure openai to just openai because i'm going to be using openai and i'm going to save and come out of that and the next file is config embedding.yaml so i'm going to say when vim config slash config embedding.yaml Similarly, I'm going to remove Azure underscore and then just going to use OpenAI, which is here. You can stick with Azure OpenAI if you already have Azure OpenAI account, which I don't. So I'm going to come out of it. Next one is to edit the config retrieval.yaml. So I'm going to say config slash config retrieval.yaml. Here, 
there's again Azure AI search, but there are other options as well. For example, local file based quadrant storage is quadrant local. And the next option is remote quadrant storage, or we can use Milvus. So I'm going to choose quadrant local because we are going to run NL web locally. So I'm just going to edit this and I'm going to remove this and I'm just going to paste quadrant local. Once we have done that, I think we have edited all the configs. So the next step is to build a database and create our local vector database to test with. Now this is the command that we need to use, which is Python minus M tools dot DB underscore load. Here is where we need to provide the RSS URL that we just created. And the site name is AI hyphen bytes, or you can choose to give any site name as you wish. For example, for Kevin's behind the tech podcast, they have given this RSS feed and the site name they've given is behind hyphen tech behind hyphen the hyphen tech and there's another example that they have given so let's go ahead and run this command python minus m tools dot db dot load and for the rss feed i'm going to copy this rss feed url and i'm going to paste it here and for the site name, I'm just going to say AI bytes. So that is going to build a local DB. So that is going to take a while. And notice that we are on inside the code folder when we run this command. It says loading complete, but we can see some OpenAI authentication errors. So this is what we need to fix. So let me go ahead and find out where we can actually set the OpenAI API key. So the reason we got that error is we did not set the OpenAI API key. So all that we need to do is export OpenAI API key equal to, and you need to set your key here. I have already run that command now. So we should be able to work with this repository without any error. So let's run the command again, which is Python minus M tools dot DB, the RSS feed, and finally, the site name which is AI hyphen bytes. So it's now running and we can see that we did not get any API key errors and it has processed 15 episodes from the RSS feed. It has computed embeddings of all the 15 texts. It has successfully uploaded the batch. It has processed 15 documents. The loading is complete and added 15 documents to the database and it has saved the file to this one. And so we are now set to chat with our site. Let's start NL web locally. So the command to start the NL web locally is fairly simple. It's just that Python app file.py. So if we run that, it, it has to give a local site URL. There you go. So it has given us, it is serving in this local URL in this port 8000. So if we go there, we can see that it has given the link to ask anything. What is the article on Lightrack? So for this question, we can see that the uh, first result that we got is that of the light rag article. And let's see, what are the articles about rag? And we can see that the first article that we got is about rag. And then we have rag seven indexing methods for vector DB plus similarity search. And then it goes for the light rag. This time light rag is ranked number three, not at the top. And there are also other articles about light rag and eventually it moves on to other articles like MCP and all that. So I leave it there and I will wrap up this video here. I will leave you guys to play around with it. And I hope you like this video and, I, and you found it useful. And I will see you in my next video. Take care.